Hello everyone, and welcome to another interesting game from round 3 of the 2013 Candidates Tournament. Now, as you remember from my uh, video from round 1 and round 2, uh, Vasily Ivanchuk did not have the greatest start to the tournament. Uh, he he drew his first game against uh, Alexander Grishuk, and then he lost his second game against Timur Rajabov. Uh, and the Levon Aronian had a pretty nice start to the tournament. Uh, in round 1 he drew Magnus Carlsen, and in round 2 uh, he defeated Boris Gelfand. So uh, Vasily has the white pieces in this game and he would definitely enjoy uh, breaking 50% after after round 3. So before we start with the game, we do have a couple of photos from this round. Uh, here is uh, Vasily Ivanchuk uh, before the game preparing uh, for, for a great brawl with uh, Levon Aronian. Uh, here we have a photo of Levon. Uh, in the back you can see a blurry photo of uh, Magnus Carlsen stretching. Uh, and uh, here we have a nice photo of Vasily Ivanchuk pounding that clock. Uh, which is kind of ironic because uh, this game uh, is also one of the games that uh, will be decided by, by not pounding on the clock. Uh, but you'll see what I mean by this. Uh, so Vasily is white, uh, white and he opens with d4. Uh, we have knight to f6, bishop to g5, uh, uh, Ivanchu goes for the Trompovsky attack. e6, uh, this is the classical defense to the Trompovsky, uh, knight to d2 and c5. We have e3, b6. Uh, knight to f3, bishop to b7, c3, and bishop to e7. Uh, bishop to d3, uh, Aronian castles, and now bishop captures on f6. This is uh, only uh, one one of the examples where uh, Ivanchuk gives up his bishop pair early on in the game. Uh, bishop captures and now h4. So you can see that uh, it's it's only move 9 and Ivanchuk already gave up, gave up his bishop pair and played uh, h4. Uh, we have knight to c6 and knight to g5. So going all out here, this is Vasily Vanchu going full barbarian mode. Uh, g6, you have to prevent the attack on h7. h6 uh, is, is somewhat... Uh, uh, h6 is, isn't so great because white doesn't have to react to this. White can simply go queen to h5 and uh, the, the attack continues for white. You don't really have to uh, uh, get, uh, get, move the knight. Uh, black can never really capture the knight, then you would open open up the h file, and now white is just winning. So, uh, after this knight to g5, g6 by Aronian. Uh, we have f4, uh, knight to e7, and now queen to g4. So, Vasily is putting all of his pieces to the king's side. Uh, h5, uh, queen to h3, and now c captures on d4. Uh, e captures on d4, and now b5. Seems like a seems like a weird move, uh, but Arnan has some uh, very interesting ideas about uh, about what happens when queen comes to b6, and this queen to b6 move will be a crucial idea in in most of the variations in this game. Uh, capturing the pawn doesn't give white anything. Arnan will simply attack it and bring his queen uh, to b6 even even sooner. So uh, Ivanchuk is not interested. He plays a3. Uh, we have queen to b6 and now rook to g1. Here Ivanchuk is uh, ready to push g4 and break open on the king side. Uh, this would be excellent, but Aronian doesn't allow it. Knight to d5. And this was the idea of, uh, of, of this b5 move and playing queen to b6. Uh, now you can't push g4 immediately. If you push g4 immediately, then Aronian's idea was bishop captures on d4. Uh, now, of course, the rook on g1 is attacked and after you play c captures, queen captures, uh, the problem is uh, your rook is still attacked on g1 after something like queenside castle uh, You could also maybe play rook to f1 to guard f4, but then h captures on g4 will be very nice for black uh, But after queenside castle now you get knight captures on f4 attacking the queen and the bishop on d3 uh, And pretty much anything you do here will be will be extremely good for black uh, Let's say knight b3 you attack the black queen uh, but now check king b1 and now you can either choose either you, maybe you want to just capture the queen and then capture the rook uh, or you want to capture the rook on g1 and then capture the queen but the best move is queen to d5 simply move your queen out of danger and attack the knight on b3 and after white does the same queen g3 now you simply capture the knight and the problem is <clears throat> uh, white can never capture the knight on f4 if white captures then you get bishop to d5 uh, and there is no defense against queen to a2 <clears throat> So uh, this will be excellent for black. So this was Aronian's idea, this b5, queen b6, and the knight to d5. Uh, so uh, here Ivanchuk played knight g to e4. 
uh, we have bishop to g7. Uh, here, the same idea doesn't really apply. If you play bishop captures on d4, you can still play this, but after captures captures, uh, now white can in fact play rook to f1 because uh, this pawn is not on g4. There is no this uh, in between h captures on g4. Uh, and while this is fine for black, um, the, you don't really have anything decisive, so you don't really want to give up a pawn uh, in the candidates, uh, give up a piece in the candidates without anything decisive. And uh, instead, after knight to d5 and this uh, idea, knight to d4 by Ivanchuk, uh, you can go knight captures on f4 uh, with ideas uh, like uh, attacking the bishop and the queen, like an in-between move grabbing a pawn, uh, because knight captures on f6 comes with check. Now, uh, you check here, king g7, and now you capture on h5 with check. Uh, knight captures, you move the queen, and uh, all is well for white. So, uh, after this knight g to e4 by Ivanchuk, uh, Aranyan moves the bishop back, bishop to g7, uh, and then now comes queen to f3. Queen to f3 was an imprecision that uh, Aranyan uh, took advantage of masterfully. Uh, after queen to f3, uh, he played b4. What's the idea behind b4? Well, first of all, you're you're breaking open on the queen side. Uh, Ivanchuk's king is, is still in the center. He can no longer castle on the king side. And if you break open on the queen side, then uh, you're pretty much free to attack the white king. Uh, so a captures on b4 and knight captures on b4. And what's the idea here? The idea is that if you capture the knight, then f5 is coming, attacking the knight. Uh, you can't move the knight. The knight is pinned, and uh, this will be excellent for black. Uh, so after knight to b4, we have knight to c4. Ivanchuk now attacks Aronian's queen on b6. Uh, queen to b5, uh, we have knight to e5, uh, attacking the queen by the bishop on d3, and now knight captures with check. Uh, knight captures on d3, and now queen to f5. Still not allowing uh, uh, Ivanchuk to push g4, and also there is nice pressure on the knight here. On e4, that is currently attacked twice. So, knight d to c5, attacking the bishop on b7 and also defending the knight on e4. Uh, bishop to c6, and now comes b4. Uh, we have rook to b8, and now rook to a5 by uh, Ivanchuk. And here, uh, this is only move 25, but uh, as we've said in the previous video, uh, in round 3, everyone was in serious time trouble. So, Ivanchuk was also in serious time trouble here uh, in... Uh, in uh, move 25, and Aranyan didn't want to waste uh, a lot of time here. He wanted Ivanchuk to uh, play fast uh, using his own time. And here uh, Aranyan said that he knew that bishop captures on d4 was probably winning, and uh, he was in fact right. But he, he didn't play this uh, because he didn't want to spend too much time calculating it, and then maybe if it turns out it wasn't winning, then Ivanchuk would also figure out something. Uh, but in fact, after bishop captures, pawn captures, rook captures, uh, the white king is still in the center, um, you're, you're threatening to grab the d4 pawn, uh, you're threatening rook b1, uh, you can double rooks and uh, re really cause chaos here, for example, if white decides to do something like king f2, uh, then you simply check him. And after the king runs away, now comes the bishop captures, queen captures, and here you have to run away with the king to h2, and now queen h4 will be checkmate. Uh, one of the variations that could happen, uh, but uh, y you definitely don't want to allow uh, any any rook to b1 ideas. So simply rook to a1, uh, but now rook captures on d4, and now you uh, you have three pawns for the piece uh, with a better position, uh, so this will be ex very, very pleasant to play for black. Uh, but uh, Aronian did not want to spend too much time here, so instead he played a6. Uh, Ivanchuk played queen to e3, and now we have queen to g4. Uh, g3, uh, rook to b5, and now rook captures on a6. Rook captures on a6, knight captures on a6, uh, and now e5, uh, the idea of uh, Aronian's pawn sacrifice. And e5 is another excellent breakthrough Aronian found in this game. Uh, now comes d captures on e5. Uh, and bishop captures on e4. And here, here is a wonderful uh, idea. Um, pause the video here and uh, try to figure out what, <laughs> why did Aronian uh, play this. Uh, and another, another thing, can queen capture bishop? Uh, if the queen can't capture the bishop, then Ivanchuk is simply down a piece. So, can the queen capture this bishop? And uh, if yes, why yes? And if no, why no? Uh, and if you can't capture the bishop, what do you play then? So a lot of players uh, thought that uh, Ivanchuk should just resign here, uh, but uh, Ivanchuk in fact found a brilliant idea. And uh, well, for those of you who found the idea, congratulations. Uh, although you know you, you were not in time trouble, I do hope you used your time wisely. 
uh, but uh, maybe some of you just want to enjoy the show. Uh, if you play queen captures on e4, then rook captures on e5 wins the game immediately for black. Uh, your queen is pinned, you can't move the queen, there's a king on e1, black is threatening, rook captures queen. Uh, if you capture rook, then bishop captures queen, you lose the queen and the game. If you capture with the pawn, then your queen is undefended on e4, queen captures queen this way. Uh, again, you lose the game. So, after this bishop captures on e4, it seems like uh, black is completely winning, uh, but Ivanchuk finds this breaking idea, c4 c4 and now rook captures on e5 of course does nothing uh, because there's a bishop here you can simply capture that rook and uh, you have to come up with a move uh, the knight is guarding b4 the knight is also uh, not allowing the rook to retreat to b8 uh, you, you have to either play rook to b6 or rook to b7 so what do you play here uh, if you play something like rook to b7 then you get queen captures on e4 and then the queen is once again attacking the rook then you have to retreat rook to b6 uh, and then at after check, king moves and c5, uh, white uh, out, of a, out of a pretty terrible position. Now it's actually white uh, that's, that's pushing here. So, after this, bishop captures on e4 and Ivanchuk's brilliant c4. Uh, we have rook to b6 by Aronian. Now, uh, if Ivanchuk captures bishop, then Aronian captures knight on a6. So, Aronian is forcing Ivanchuk to capture the rook here. So, Aronian sacrifices the exchange. But, uh, queen captures uh, rook on b6. This was forced. Uh, and now comes queen to f3, infiltrating now Ivanchuk's position. Uh, ideas like bishop to d3 followed by queen to e2 checkmate uh, are, you know, in the air, so you do have to react to this. Uh, queen to f2 was played, and now queen to a3. Uh, knight to c5. Uh, we have queen capture some b4 with check, grabbing a pawn, and uh, like we've said, uh, uh, Ivanchuk was in serious time trouble, and here he has to find a move. This is only move uh, 35. Uh, he has to make move 35 and he still has to make uh, 35 and all the way to 40 so six moves uh, uh, so five moves to reach time control and here he played king to d2 but after he played king to d2 he hit the clock and he realized that his time has <laughs> once again run out so this is the third round of the candidates tournament 2013 and Ivanchuk already lost two games uh, by uh, running out of time on his clock and uh, the position here isn't uh, isn't uh, is much better than it was in his game uh, against Rajabov when his time also ran out here. Uh, Ivanchuk is actually up the exchange, and uh, well, it's it's questionable if he can survive this. Uh, Aronian does have the bishop pair, but before this dark square bishop is activated somehow, uh, as currently it's it's not doing uh, all that much. Uh, it's uh, you know you you have to it, it would have to be. Uh, precise play by black to, to win this but yeah uh unfortunately for ivanchuk uh, another game lost on time and ivanchuk is now uh, zero, uh, 0.5 out of three so one draw and two losses uh, from the first uh, three rounds and 11 aronian is after three rounds leading the candidates tournament as he has two wins uh, and one draw so two and a half points out of three uh, i will also include uh an article in the description below be sure to check that out it's a uh, a uh, very extensive article about round three uh, written by Peter Dodgers at the time uh, round three finished. So uh, I, I do recommend everyone to read it. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon, uh, probably with, uh, with a game from round four of the 2013 Candidates Tournament. Uh, thank you all.